hey 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today i want to welcome you here if this is your very first time and welcome back if you are returning today i have some easy shelf sitters as well as tear tray decor all of these represent family the evans family that is my household party of three yes my husband sam myself melinda and my one and only son ramel and what I'm going to do is create these small projects that you can sit on your shelf or you can sit and create a tear tray. So stay tuned to the end because I will be putting the tear tray together as well as uh, some, some painting will be done in this video. Some will not be done. So um, I try to keep everybody in mind. Some people like to see the painting. Some people are not interested in the painting. Okay. So I wanted to keep everyone in mind. So also, if you're new here, I want to welcome you. And uh, I always save the favorite, not the favorite. I always save the easiest DIY for last. So uh, I do have 10 really, really easy projects for you today and if you're interested in seeing what i create i suggest that you keep on watching all right for the first diy we're going to be using one of the wood planks you get six in the pack I already painted it white and we're going to be featuring these beautiful transfer stickers from the dollar tree all right, I was a little bit skeptical because they are in a fall type of um, finish and uh, they are super duper cute and they did work out, but you will see where I did run into a problem later on in the video, but um, I think these are very, very pretty. So what you want to do is um, cut out what you're going to use if you've never used these rub on transfers before and you just want to get you some type of tool I like using this you can pick this little tool up from the Dollar Tree and um, Some of you already own crickets. Just use your little cricket tool or you can use a um, Business card or like a you know a credit card or something like that You will need something that you can put some pressure down. I would not suggest that you use your fingernail on this one because you got to put a little work in okay but nevertheless i think it turned out super duper cute let me know in the comments what you think All right, for our next DIY, we have this wood hanging um, plaque, whatever you want to call it, but it's a cross. And what I'm going to do is use some spackling to fill up the hole on both sides. We are using apple barrel paint uh, in the color white today. That is the only color that I'm using. And um, I'm going to fill the hole up on both sides this will just kind of blend it out you know so you won't have that hole sitting there you don't have to do this because you can cover it up it's just your choice um but i wanted to go ahead and cover mine up i didn't know exactly where i was going with it but nevertheless um that's what i'm doing now what i did was i did give it a heavy coat on one side and then i kind of just um dry brushed it on the other side because I didn't know exactly which side I was going to use but I did go around dry brushing all around and um, you'll see once it dries that I did use the side that I kind of dry brushed um, yeah all right so I'm going to use the side that I dry brushed I'm going to take the word faith and we are just going to go ahead and get this on and finish this up let me know in the comments what you're thinking so far
All right, for our next DIY, I picked up these uh, little cute little um, plastic jars here. You can get these from the Dollar Tree. And what I did was I uh, painted it off camera white. I did not give it but one coat. I didn't want it to be a full coverage. I'm taking these little herbs from the Dollar General. They were $1. And we are just going to create a cute little planter. So keep on watching. I am taking some of this coastal jute cord from the Dollar Tree and just wrapping it around and just to give it a little bit more swag and uh, placing the greenery back down in there and we're just going to add a cute little messy bow using that same coastal jute and that's it let me know. All right, for our next DIY, we're going to take this sign from the Dollar General. It was $2, but I got it for 90% off. So, um, excuse me, 70% off. So, uh, 70 or 75. So, I got it for like 60 cents, y'all. And we're just going to take off everything, get the little um, sticker off the back. It wouldn't come all the way off, so I made sure that I sanded it down. Well, I did not sand this down. Or did I sand it down? I did sand it down, y'all, to the best of my abilities. And we're just going to paint it carefully and try not to get any on the sides or the top or the bottom. And then we will, once it dries, we will cover up the back um, with some gift wrapping paper so it looks high end and finished, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and get that finished. Now that it is completely dried, I'm going to cover up the back as I stated and uh, with some hot glue. And then we're going to finish it off with another one of the rub on transfers. So keep on watching. Now, in our home, forgiveness is a huge deal, okay? Because it is necessary. It is necessary. It's for you. It is for you. If you're asking for forgiveness, that is for you. And forgiving is for you. It's so necessary because why? We all are going to make mistakes. So if you think that you're so perfect, baby, let me tell you. Uh -huh. you're going to need somebody to forgive you. All right, for our next DIY, we're going to take uh, one of these little planters. You get three in the pack from the Dollar Tree. And I painted it off camera with this uh, white right here. And I'm going to use one of the floral foam balls. And we are going to place it down in the bottom. I eventually will hot glue it just to make sure that it stays in place. We're going to use some of those same herbs from the Dollar General. And we're just going to create us another planter. I do believe in having lots of greenery if possible. I love having planters on my tear tray. I love having planters on my bookshelf or wherever. 
because it just warms it up. The greenery really warms up the space. All right, for our next DIY, we're going to use this cute little house. I got it from the Dollar General. It was $1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, try to sand that down, smooth that little sticker part off, remove everything off of here. And I'm going to paint the back of it white. And I will cover up the other side. So keep on watching. Okay, so here's where I ran into a problem. I was attempting to use this little um, rub on that's the church, but unfortunately it took the paint off. It would not adhere to this. I don't know why, but that's what happened, y'all. And I really wanted to put this here because for me and our house, as for me and my family, we're going to church, we're going to serve the Lord, y'all. So I tried the love okay because I wanted to make sure that I had this on here as well and hmm, unfortunately it did the exact same thing some of the letters stayed on and some of them came right off okay I repainted it each time y'all it just would not let me be great okay so you see what it did hmm. I repainted it again and lo and behold, I'm going to take this and glue this down. And that's it with this DIY, y'all. It tried to give me the blues, but nevertheless, I think it turned out absolutely cute. Let me know in the comments what you think. All right, y'all, if you like anything in this video so far, give me a big old thumbs up. That helps my channel out. Leave me a comment and tell me what it is that you like and make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell as well. On to our last couple of DIYs. Keep on watching. All right, we have another hanging wood decor and I'm just going to get the jute cord. Um, cut off of that going to do the same thing with the spackling and cover up that hole paint it using the apple barrel in white and we're going to make sure that we paint both sides the other side is just going to be kind of dry brush we're going to do it just like we did the cross but i will be using the full coverage side this time so keep on watching All right, so we're using the word joy. You know, having joy, that's such a deep emotion. That's something that no one can give you. That is a personal relationship with God type of feeling, type of emotion, because it's deep, because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Just knowing that you're strong because of him, that's what gives you joy.
All right, y'all, we winding this thing on up using this $1 shadow box from the Dollar General. I am just pushing the pushing it out the back and I'm just going to get all the paper off and we will take that mob off the front and we're going to cover that side up and use the back side, paint it white and go ahead and put that rib on transfer on here. So keep on watching. All right, y'all, make sure that you are following me on Facebook, The Crafty Doll, Instagram, The Dot Crafty Doll for other DIYs, for reels and shorts and all of that type of thing. Follow me over there, you guys. I'm looking forward to having you. All right, next we're going to also use one of the gold letter stickers from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to put our initial, our last initial, <laughs> E for Evans, baby. And the rub on transfer says forever. And so, yes, we are the Evans forever. And I decided mm, it's looking a little plain. Let's add a little something else to it. And so I am taking this cute little um beaded wreath that i got off of another one of the projects um, from earlier and yeah that's it All right, on to another DIY. We're bringing it on down, y'all. I'm using this cute little frame that came from the Dollar Tree. A little shadow box. It says, be kind. It's absolutely cute the way it is. And I was trying to take it apart, pushing it out the back, but that didn't work. I was beginning to tear up the frame. So, nevertheless, we're going to have to do something else, baby. So, I'm just going to paint it on the inside, remove what I can remove here, and paint it in white. And I did give it one coat. I didn't um, coat it, but only once. And I tried to, you know, stay in the frame. You know, sometimes you get a little bit over, but that's okay. If I was doing this for someone else, I would have definitely taped it off. But, nevertheless, I didn't. And I'm just going to try to stay in um, the lines as much as possible. So, uh, just keep on watching, y'all. All right, so I've already placed down the things where I want them to go. And in this particular DIY, I am um, putting in here the things that we love to do as a family together. And one of the things we love to do is travel, y'all. All three of us. But we can't wait to go on the next road trip, okay? Some days we just take a ride. And some days we make, we stay over one night. Some days we, you know, you know, do three, four, five. You know, it just depends on whatever it is. But that's what we love to do. We love cell phones, chatting, texting, playing games, whatever it is. And we love to laugh. When I tell you, my family love to laugh. Mm, 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 mm. We are some funny folks, y'all. And we all love just being at home with each other. It's a great feeling, y'all. All right, it's time to bring this thing on in. We're using this little planter from the Dollar General. It was $1. It had some um, other things in it. And I'm just going to stick some more of these herbs down what i have left and this is the easiest in my opinion 
and we are finishing up these shelf sitter or tear tray projects for you today so stay tuned because we will be styling the tear tray together so just keep on watching All right, y'all, that is it for this beautiful tear tray. All the items, you can put these on your shelf. You can use this for your tear tray. But the, all these items represent my family, the Evans family. I'm so grateful to God for my husband. I'm grateful to God for my son. I am grateful to God for us having the mindset to want to serve the Lord. We are a blessed family. And all of these things represent us. Listen, I want to thank you all for stopping by today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll be notified as well. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.